Pew Research Center's Religious Landscape Study surveys more than 35,000 Americans from across the country on many topics. The homepage organizes these data by religion, geography, and topic. The Religion section provides at-a-glance data on all the major religious traditions, which allows you to see what proportion of U.S. adults belong to various religious groups. You can use the yellow drop-down arrows located next to each religious group to see the smaller groups that make up each religious tradition. The map breaks down the U.S. into four regions, West, Midwest, Northeast, and South, as well as by state and the country's largest metro areas. Clicking on one of these geographical areas will give you a profile of the religious composition of the geographic area you selected, along with statistics on religious beliefs and practices, as well as social and political views. You can also begin your exploration by looking at demographics like age or gender or marital status, or by examining topics like attendance at religious services. Let's dig a little deeper and learn about religion in a specific part of the country. Move back to the map of the United States and click on the area you're interested in. Suppose you want to know how important religion is to people who live in the South. Click anywhere in here, just below the map, and you arrive at a page about religion in the South. The first thing on the page is the religious profile of the South. You can see, for example, that 76% of Southerners are Christian, including 34% who are Evangelical Protestants. As you scroll down the page, you see belief in God and, here we are, importance of religion. It says here 62% of people living in the South say religion is very important to them. Clicking on Compare Importance of Religion by Region shows that 62% is high compared to other regions of the country. Clicking on Learn More Importance of Religion in One's Life lets you find out more about the characteristics of Southerners who attach varying levels of importance to religion in their lives. And you could continue to scroll down the page to find out more about the South, but instead let's try to answer a new question. To do that, scroll to the top of the page and click on Religious Landscape Study to get back to our starting page. Now we're back at the top of the home page. Suppose you'd like to find out the age distribution of Evangelical Protestants. There are two ways to do this. You could start by looking at age, down at the bottom of this page, or by looking at Evangelical Protestants. Let's start with Evangelicals, since we're already here. The first thing you see on this level is a new map of the U.S. This one describes the share of each state that is evangelical. The rest of this page tells you more about evangelical Protestants, much like the geography page told you about people in the South. We can scroll down the page until we get to the question we are interested in, or we can take a shortcut. On many pages, there will be three links near the top of the page, demographic information, beliefs and practices, and social and political views. These links will jump down the page to a specific type of question. In this case, we want to know about age, which is a demographic question. Now you see a chart showing the age distribution of Evangelical Protestants. It tells us that 17% of Evangelicals are between the ages of 18 and 29. As when we were looking at a specific region, you'll also see that you have a few options with this chart. Clicking on Compare Age Group by Religious Group will show you how the age distribution among Evangelicals compares to that of other religious groups. But let's say we want to know more about young evangelical Protestants. Specifically, how often young evangelical Protestants pray as compared with older evangelicals. To find this out, click on the Learn More Age Distribution link. Since we are on the Evangelical Protestants page, this will bring us to a page about how evangelicals of different ages compare to each other. The top of this page has another shortcut bar. Since we're interested in the frequency of prayer, we will click on the Beliefs and Practices link. Now we can scroll past their first few items and get to the frequency of prayer. You can see that young evangelicals are slightly less likely than older evangelicals to pray daily. 73% of evangelicals between the ages of 18 and 29 say they pray at least daily. By way of comparison, larger shares of older evangelicals say they pray daily, including 78% of evangelicals in their 30s and 40s, 81% of evangelicals between the ages of 50 and 64, and 81% of evangelicals who are 65 or older. The database also makes it possible to flip the axes. Instead of examining frequency of prayer among evangelicals of various ages, we can examine the age distribution of evangelicals who give varying answers to the question about how often they pray. To see this, click Switch Display to Age Group Among Evangelical Protestants by Frequency of Prayer. 
Here we see 16% of evangelicals who pray daily are between 18 and 29. Each chart can be shared or saved by clicking the options above the top right corner of the chart. Each chart also can be viewed as a table. As I mentioned earlier, another way to explore the age distribution of evangelical Protestants would have been to start with age on the homepage. The Topics and Questions section at the bottom of the homepage groups questions into three sections, demographic information, beliefs and practices, and social and political views. If we click on age distribution, the first chart on this page shows the age distribution for each religious group, not just evangelical Protestants. You can see here that 17% of evangelicals in the U.S. are under the age of 30. This is the same result we found earlier. Below the display of the age distribution of the country's major religious traditions, the rest of this page shows responses to the survey's other questions about religious beliefs and practices and social and political attitudes given by Americans from various age groups. You can use the general approach we just went through to find the answers to many of your questions. Some information may not be available, either because the website only displays results for groups from which we were able to obtain at least 100 interviews or for some other reason. But if you have questions, feel free to contact us at info at pewresearch.org.